Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am Mrs B, your Catholic art teacher. Happy New Year boys and girls and this term we are going to learn more about colour. We're going to be doing colour theory in this lesson. So boys and girls get all your art materials out and let's get started. So you need um, the primary colours, red, yellow and blue. When you have these primary colours, you are able to make a whole range of other colours. So boys and girls, in this palette you will already see that I have organised it in um, the colour wheel colours. You have the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blue and the purple. And boys and girls, we're going to, we have some, uh, we need our paintbrush. So you can decide um, what paintbrush you will need, but it would be preferable if you have a paintbrush that has a good tip, a good point at the end, so that you'll be able to paint the corners. The, you know, when it becomes very narrow, it wouldn't be a good thing to use a wider brush, brush like this. So it's better for a pointy tip. Or you can even use this fine um, paintbrush but it will just take you longer so boys and girls the first thing you need to do uh, we're going to paint the primary colors because primary colors are the most important colors these are the colors that you can make new colors with so you cannot take two colors and make red or yellow or blue the primary colors um, but you can use these colors the primary colors to make other colors so we're going to take our paintbrush, we're going to wet, we need a rag as well so that we can wipe down our paintbrushes if in case we get any um, excess paint. And uh, we're going to start with red. So you get your red paint, you squeeze it, oops, don't forget you have to shake it first because sometimes it gets... Um, It gets um, settled in when it stands for too long, so you have to really give it a good shake so before you use it. And you mix up your red like this, and then you paint your the first um, triangle. We're going to do, like I said, primary colors first. So make sure that you color within the lines when you're painting paint within the lines um, boys and girls colors are very important in our lives and we see it every day and we have to thank God that he gave us the gift of sight so that we will we would be able to see and appreciate color so boys and girls the red color you usually associate with stop with danger you know uh, it's an uh, it's like an a color that you use to alert people so we associate the color red with um, that emergency like you have the red cross you see the fire engine these are all red and boys and girls red can also show when you blush in, you know, you'd use a, a shade, a, a tint of red, a pinkish color to show that you're blushing. You go red when you blush. All right. So when you finish um, painting in your segment, you rinse off your brush very thoroughly. And we're going to go ahead and do the second primary color, which is yellow. So we're going to paint here in this yellow color shake your bottle of paint so it's well mixed and then you drop in a couple of um, drops of yellow paint and then you make sure that your paintbrush is nice and damp and then you're going to 
use the yellow now to go on this side of the color wheel. So these are your primary colors. So we're going to paint that very quickly. This is a lovely bright color. Yellow is usually known as the sunshine color. It brings people happiness and joy. Um, it's a therapeutic <laughs> color. It's a color that you would use to make you happy. Uh, yellow, um, when you see yellow, yellow means sunshine, warmth. It's, an, it's also a warm color. And um, yeah, this is yellow. And I know a few children whose favorite color is yellow. So that's lovely color like that. And any excess, you just scrape it at the side of your palette like this. And then you go, we're going to do the last primary color. Make sure you wash your paintbrush really well. Rinse your paintbrush well. Wipe it up. And then we're going to use the last um, color of the primary colors, which is the color blue. So shake it really well like that. Then you're going to you're going to paint. We're going to pour some in the in our palette, and then we're going to mix it with our paintbrush, and then we're going to paint this in blue like that, like that. Good. So we have our primary color. So if blue, when you look at the color blue, blue is a calming color. It's a cool color. It's a color, you know, you would associate with um, tranquility. Um, blue is also a color you would associate with the sea and your um, natural surroundings. The sky is blue and yeah it's also the color of our blessed mother so yeah blue is a lovely color to have in your color palette and when you finish you're going to rinse off your brush and then we're going to do complementary colors so where do you put the complementary colors right in the middle here so we're going to have mix red and yellow to give us what color boys and girls Let's see. So when you mix the red, I'm going to put some red in this. You already have some yellow. I'm just going to add a little bit of red and we're going to mix it together and let's see what we're going to get together when we mix it. Okay, let's just put a little bit, a drop of orange in that. Yellow, I beg your pardon. I've just told you what color we're going to make now. Add a little bit of yellow to make the color orange. That's right. So there we have it. Lovely, bright, vibrant orange. So red and yellow makes this color here. Orange. I'm going to color that in very quickly. We have to do this pretty quick because we're, it's a race uh, against time now. And boys and girls, if in case I haven't said it, I'd love to see your work when you're done. You know, you can share it with me in the, when we meet again next class, uh, just before we start the new session or whatever we're going to do. It's always good for me to share your work for us to see how well you're doing, how you've managed, and then we can take questions before we move on to the next um, class. So we've 
done that so yellow and blue now when you mix it together will get you a lovely what color green that's right so we're going to get our um, green by mixing a drop of blue one drop to two drops of yellow because the blue is quite a powerful color you see boys and girls so we just add two drops of yellow here like that and then we mix it together and let's see what we're going to get All right, so we have green, it's a bit light. Let's add a bit more blue to it so that it will be wet. Oops, that was a bit too much. Okay, so we're mixing it up. I think that's a better green that shows an, a more equal proportionate green rather than the other greens that I've been having in my previous lessons it was a little too light it was too yellow so this is a better green I think it shows the blue and the green equally in the painting in the color wheel want it to be equal you want the equal amount of uh, yellow with the equal amount of though i know the blue is quite powerful and it's according to your liking of the green if you want it to be a little bit but i just find that we don't want it to be too yellow all right so that's us done with the green so blue uh, blue and red will make what color that's right it makes a purple color so we're going to again mix this up all right first to get a nice purple wash your paintbrush you have to dry it and then wash it again very important that you do that boys and girls and um, I'm gonna get the bottle the blue I'm gonna add some blue don't want it to be too um, too blue and you don't want it to be too red so we add a drop of per, um, blue and a drop of red and we're going to mix it to get well two drops so I'm going to give it two drops because like I said the blue can be a very powerful color and then we're going to mix it together like this and see what we get and just mix them all together and see if we can get a lovely purple out of the two blended together and then I think that's okay. It's a little on the dark side, but uh, that's okay. Very carefully, you let's just add a little bit of water here just to add, make it a little bit lighter because I find it's a little dark. Right, that's better. So you just uh, draw your lines in all the way down like this. And go across with your purple like I said boys and girls um, it's so fun it's so um, satisfying boys and girls to to make your own colors you feel good you say this is my color I made this color you know from scratch so it's really really important though you can get some ready mixed um, colors that have all the colors of the rainbow i think it's really a good experience for you to create your own colors uh, the way you want it so i would advise you to just go ahead and do that and don't do the way the cheating way of um getting the colors already mixed already you just uh, put them in so that's your colors we associate colors like we have our favorite colors don't we so with purple, you think of grapes, you know, and lovely fruits, plums, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we're going to go straight into tertiary colors now.
So tertiary colors are um, complementary colors and you add a primary color. All right. So, for example, if we start with the orange, the, um, on the left side, you have the red. So you add a drop of red to your orange, already mixed orange. So we're going to add one drop of red here and add it to that. So we get a, a, a tertiary color of the red, of the color red. So I'm going to get my red, going to drop it in like this. I'm going to put two drops actually, maybe three, because it's a little watery I find the, um, and then we mix it all together and let's see what color we're going to get. The deeper orange as you can see it's a lot deeper than that one so we're going to just draw, bring it close we're going to draw a straight paint a straight line I should say because the line is already drawn and uh, try not to go over the edges since you're so you use the fine tip of your paintbrush as you're going along like that all right Trying to keep all the edges nice and neat, not going over the edge like that. And we're going to use the next color, which is, we're going to use a bit of the orange that we had here and add some yellow to it. So um, what I will do I'm going to wash my paintbrush. I'm going to add some, if I can spray some color, some water, I mean, just some, just normal water. I'm going to just spray it inside on there. And then I will add my yellow to this. I think I will need about three drops. Oh, that's more than three, but in any case, we needed that because it has to be a lot um, more yellow than than what is there. So I think by mixing it like that, that will give me the color that I need. Yes, I think that's fine. So that's the lovely um, yellow orange as opposed to the red orange that we had. We mixed just a minute ago. This one is more a yellow orange so we just quickly just put that in and just put any excess from my paint so that i can get the to draw my lines more straighter so it doesn't go over and into the yellow that i have here or it's painted already so there we go lovely and then boys and girls we're going to go over to the green. <coughs> All right. Good. Go over to the green and um, we're going to add a bit of yellow to half of it and then a bit of what I will do instead of what I did and I just mix everything. <laughs> I will just um, divide it because we have to add yellow to this green and we have to add blue for that side. So that's what I would advise you to do for the for all your colors when you're mixing it. So we're doing the yellow green. So I'm going to add. That should suffice a drop of yellow. That should suffice. Um, I'm gonna just mix it very lightly so that the green will mix up with the yellow, and then so you'd have a lovely lime green, which is the color of the the, the stars that are on the Dominica flag. It's lime green. Oh, that's beautiful. That's just right, I think. That color, just right. So you can see the green, and but you can see more of the yellow. So this, that's why it's a yellow green. This tertiary color here is a yellow green. All right. And 
then we're going to go on the other side of the green this time it's the primary color blue so then we're going to mix the blue some blue into our already uh, mixed green and we're going to get a blue green all right so let me just scrape my paint excess paint off and then we're going to wash the paintbrush and then we're going to add a touch of blue to this green and just put two of them and mix it together and let's see what we get i hope we get the it's not too deep blue but it we certainly want to get this um blue green color here and i think we did that i think that we've got that blue green that we want it's a bit darker than there can you see that and then um just add one more just to make sure one more drop like that good that should do the trick i think and then mix it up nicely right that's much better so we're going to go right to the tip go all the way down and you can you can see that the colors are actually very apparent the the, the green is more on the blue side because we added more blue to it yes so it's very very obvious like that the reason why I make it got messed up is because I got the bottles there so I have to go around the bottles just like so and then we go up like that good that's fine and then we do the edge here good that's it wonderful lovely blue green there we go that's fine all right so we're moving on now to the blue the purple i beg your pardon and we're going to add a drop of blue to it so but we're going to wash our paintbrush really clean because we don't want a spill over if we have a spill over it's going to cause our palette our we don't want the paint to become muddy so that's why we have we don't want it to the colors to spill over in the sense that it's going to cause it to be muddy because when you add a color uh, if you don't wash your paintbrush properly, then the color that is left on your paintbrush would cause the new color to be muddy. So we're going to add a drop of uh, blue on this side. Which is, that should be enough. So this is going to be a blue purple. So we're going to do on that side only. We take a little bit of the purple on that side and we're just going to mix it up. We don't want to take too much because we have to do it for the red as well. So this one is a blue purple. So, yeah. And I think I need a drop more. Just one more drop and I think that should do the trick here. That should be. actually see the blue which makes it much better and closer to the color that you want to get so this is a blue purple so this like has I know there's some of you all your favorite color in this class is the purple and you get this really nice blue purple which is really a lovely dreamy color So here we go, line all the way down, try to keep your lines straight, 
I'm trying to hurry so that my, this is a bit wobbly, my lines, but it doesn't matter. I'm just demonstrating. When you're doing it, you can do it much better than me. All right, so boys and girls, we're going to move on to the last color that we're going to add to this color wheel, last tertiary color, and that is red uh, purple. So we're going to add a little bit of red to the purple. So let's make sure your paintbrush is nice and clean. I'm going to add like, because it's very runny, I'll add four drops of paint just to make sure I wipe my paintbrush so that it doesn't become too runny and I'm just going to mix that up real good like that I think that's good I think that's just right so this is going to be like a maroon color there you go wonderful so that makes a maroon color like a burgundy color it's beautiful a beautiful rich color yeah so um this is your tush your color wheel that shows all the three different types of colors you have your primary color your complementary color and then you have your tertiary color which is to recap a tertiary color is a this is your uh, complementary color and you add primary color to it so we're going to move on to the next activity which I have here for you so I'm going to change my water bowl because this is really um, it's very muddy it looks like hot chocolate so I'm going to move this and put this aside and then we'll look at it afterwards and what I'm going to do, boys and girls, I'm going to get this. So you're going to make a grid. And how are you going to make this grid, boys and girls? You're going to put um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by eight. So it's um Although it's a rectangle, you have eight um, lines going across and eight lines going up. And you're going to draw the lines equally. You know what I actually do, did to get it? I got a, a half a page of typing paper and I folded it in half. I folded it again folded it again, folded it again, folded it again, and folded it again. And that gives you an idea um, how to draw your lines for, your, um, for the grid that I want you to have. And so with the grid, all around it, we're going to put the primary colors. So let's just go ahead and do that. We've already got them all mixed up. We just take the colors that we've already mixed. Make sure that your paint is dry so that you don't have excess colors. And then you're just going to just go random. We in the, we're going to do it on the perimeter of it. So we're going to have nice, vibrant colors on the, on the, um, on the perimeter of your grid. So let's do that. So we're going to have red. Next color after red is, um, oops, orange. So we can just go straight into the orange because I didn't have to wash my paintbrush because you know that red and yellow makes orange and I've already mixed it. So it's just going straight into the colors and reusing them before they dry up. So that's orange. So the next color, so this time I would have to wash my paintbrush because it's, um, we want yellow. So we're going to go straight into the yellow that we have here. I'm going to put yellow here, yellow. Then after yellow is what, boys and girls? This is something you should know by heart. Red, orange, yellow. Green, 
so you can put some of that green with the green that you have. Doesn't matter, it's really important. So you have the green here, green. Get my paintbrush a little bit. Green, oopsie. Make it a little bit darker. Green. And then you're going to go rinse your paintbrush and then you're going to get the blue. Yeah. Like that. Blue and then purple. And then just gonna do this all over again. Red. Just just gonna just do this whole thing over. Ah I want a little bit of both of it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm going to paint over it in any case. Blue, and then you have the purple, which is fine. Just blow this other way, mix it with it to make it a nice equal blue. Not too dark. Yeah, you have the blue, purple, blue, and red makes purple. So that's so we have that. So we can do the same thing, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And then you start again. So we can do orange here and see what happens. We're going to do it all around the perimeter of our design. There you go, boys and girls, like this. So you add your primary, um, the colors of your, the colors of the, um, the color wheel which is red um, orange yellow green blue and purple and you just continue doing that all around your um, the perimeter of your grid and you should get e um, the uh, equal amount of uh, the spectrum so um, the spectrum, namely the color wheel, the color, the primary colors and complementary colors. So boys and girls, inside of here now, we're going to do a mixture of, I'm just, it's going to be a f whatever you wish. So what we're going to do, we got some white paint and we got some black paint. All right, which I am going to add. Um, we are going to add to our colors to get um, different shades. So the black will create, will give you shades and the white will give you tints. So I'm going to hold uh, another palette and I'm going to put some white paint and black paint into it so you can go ahead and do that and what i would like you all to do is just any you just add by adding and mixing colors you can just feel fill these boxes up with um colors of your choice so um so i added some white Added some white here. Okay, and I'm going to add some black on the opposite side so they don't mix up. So I'm going to just shake this good so that it doesn't spill out. And uh, we're going to put some black in here, right there, like that. Sorry, got in the wrong place. So to begin with, boys and girls, I'm going to, um, my favorite color is, can you guess? Yep, yeah, that's right, pink. So I'm going to get a little bit of this red, just a little bit of this red here. 
and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of white. You can just put it on the edge of your palette like that and it should make a lovely pink colour. So I'm going to just going to any square, I'm just going to put uh, just paint it so you can go ahead and do that and then when we finished you can share um, what we have done I'm gonna add a little bit more red to this so that it's a deeper shade so just add a little bit more we're gonna go somewhere else oh that's lovely deeper shade just by adding more red from the palette, the red that we had there. Okay, so this is called a tint. When you add white to a color, to any color, it becomes a tint. So that's, it's like pastel almost. And so I'm going to go and move on to the orange. I'm going to take some orange and I'm going to mix it with the white and let's see what color it will make for me. Orange and white should give me what boys and girls, let's see. Orange and white should give me a, let's see, I'm gonna go here, a peachy color. A lovely peachy color like that. Boys and girls, you know I've discovered with watercolors, just by adding water, it's as if you, you add white to it because it's a lighter version of the color that you just um, have. So by adding water, you can also get it to be light. And um, we can uh, intensify this tint by adding more of the orange, dark orange like that. And then maybe we can go here we've got enough squares as it is so we're gonna go now that we have some some uh, tints we're gonna do some shades so shading now is adding a color to black so we're gonna do that now boys and girls so we're gonna choose a color so we've we've got red and orange already down which is pink and, and peach and a peachy color, pastel color. So we're gonna go um, after orange is yellow. So we're gonna add a little bit of yellow to the black. So I'm going to have in the corner here, take some black and let's see what the color, let's see what color it is. It's like, let's see what color it becomes when we mix it together. And that is yellow and black, so that's a shade of yellow this shade is, is like it's almost like a green color isn't it because sometimes it's the sometimes it's according to how black is made and the predominant color would um, prevail so I think this black has a bit of blue in it so when you add yellow to it it will make a shade of green so this is how you discover color and um, by mixing it and you know you can get all different kinds of color so we have um, yellow and black so after yellow we'll use the green let's see what happens when we use green all right so we have this deep green here we're going to take some black and we're going to go and mix it over here let's see what color that will become so this is green let's see what the green color will what color will it be so we're gonna go here okay so it's just made it a little darker it's like a dark almost like a, a, a gray a dark gray color but it's got the t you can see the green in as a base color at, you know in the background so you can see it coming through with the colors. So even though we've added 
a lot of black to the green it's caused it to be like a You know, it just made it a dark green kind of thing. Okay, so we're going to wash our paintbrush and we're going to do blue now. We're going to use blue and um, blue and black. Let's see what happens. Let's take, add some more blue and let's see what happens. So we're going to add some black to the blue. Um, let's just put it close to the blue, shall we? Rinse my paintbrush. Rinse it. Don't. I mean, rinse it really thoroughly because as I rinsed it off and I looked at my paintbrush, I could still see some black on it. So we're going to take a great bit bit of blue and we're mixing it with the black. And let's see what color that that will make. And so these are called shades. So this, oh, you can see this is another gray. Ab absolutely, you know what? When you add black to any color, I think that what happens is it just makes it a, like a shady, shadowish color. But with the same, you know, you have, you can see the underlining, you can see the blue in this, but it's, you know, predominantly you can see it as a dark, dark, the, the black has over, you know, powered the blue here. But you can still see it, you know? You can still see the blue. The blue is trying to, to creep out. You can see it. It's quite um, apparent here. I don't know how it looks uh, with the camera, but right here with my naked eyes, I can see the, the, um, the blue trying to come out right there. All right, so that's so this is amazing so this is yellow with black this is uh, green with black and this is blue with black can you see the you know the difference so let's try what about a red with black so we're going to take the black again we're using the, our palette to the fullest right now so we're going to use this black here and we're going to add red to it so wash your paintbrush make sure that you thoroughly clean your paintbrush there's no black showing and then you take a bit of red here like that and let's see what color color it'll turn to it looks like a chocolate brown but you can again see the underlying red so can you see it although it's a dark color you can see the black is overpowering the red you can see that it has a subtle red trying to creep out there I can see it quite clearly. I, um, like I said, we'll have to see it uh, behind the camera. But then, that's what you're there to do, to experiment and to discover yourself. That's what painting is all about. Your own creativity and your own, see what you can do, boys and girls. And then, um, yeah, this is really interesting. And this is, you know, fascinating way of, of learning colours. And how different colors influences it uh, so we're going to let's try orange with the black and let's see what color that would be so we'll take a bit of black again put it by the orange like so and then we're gonna add some orange to it let's see what color it will become and you've got all the other um, got all the other colors to it see look at that that is quite an overpowering black that black really does overpower doesn't it you know it really does so let's see what what color comes out from here again I will say that again yes you can see it is dark a dark you can see the black coming out but then you the orange is trying to peep out so that you can see that this has a little subtle orange color in it it's amazing but you can you know that black is a very powerful color so therefore um, I added a little bit 
too much of the black try to add a little a little amount a little goes a long way according to what you want and if you want the shadow to be very dark then yeah go ahead but um yeah that was an overpowering black for that in that instance we didn't do purple so i'm gonna do purple and then i'm going to go ahead and do this in my own time and then i will see you in, at the um at the other side of doing this all right so we're going to do the purple so we need a little bit of black we'll take some purple here like that and then we're going to wash the paintbrush out wash it thoroughly and then we're going to add some black to it just a touch of black let's see what we're going to get so let's see what we're going to get there we'll do it right in between here wow so you can see that's why sometimes when people are drawing nighttime, they would do it purple because this looks almost, you know, you can hardly see the, I can still see the purple, but it's a very difficult. You have to really look well. The purple is coming out when you, you lay the, 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 the paints down on the paper, but it's very subtle, very subtle indeed. So, yeah, so I'm... Um, going to continue this and I'll show you the end there you go boys and girls this is the finished product of mixing um, primary colors secondary colors tertiary colors tints and shades and you just created this whole um, um, kaleidoscope of colors and um, boys and girls we also did um, this um, color wheel with the primary colors, the secondary colors, and tertiary colors. And um, yeah, you can go ahead and split your um, your color wheel in as many uh, segments as you wish um and start discovering start creating um uh, colors and i will see you in the next video boys and girls and i can't wait to see your work please um share with me when i next meet you all right boys and girls so you take care and i'll see you in the next one bye